Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm afraid I might I might be going too far this morning. But um this last oh little while <clears throat> I I've been contemplating time. And uh um you see we make quite a bit of, of we make a big deal about time Ed, as this calendar year comes to an end and and I, I, I just want to say that we kind of invented time we time wasn't here um, we invented time we we called it um, a day and we called it an hour and we called it a week and we called it a month and we called it a year we called it a minute and a second and and uh, so we invented the words of time and, uh, um, and, and with the inventing of the words of time, of course, came some practical benefits. <laughs> but it also came the ability or the, the in, in the container, in the, in the, uh, um, in the, the uh, platform, if you will, of time, we, uh, we, we also in set up a, a possibility to make judgment. And, uh, and that's more what I want to talk about. I don't think I want to go into so much the illusion of time or that we, <clears throat> or that we created the idea of time with all these labels. I, I, I'd like to just suggest that many of us have used time, the the labels of time to judge ourselves, to say, well, well, you know, this is the beginning of a, uh, you know, a, a, the end of a decade, let's say. So a de decade was is a is a, a, a area of practical time. It's the end of a decade, and 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 we can judge ourselves and say, well, what did I do in 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 the last decade? You know. And, uh, or this is the end of a year. What did I do? Who, who did I, what did I, you know, did I do enough? Am I a success? So we use time to, to play in the, in the, in the realm of, of duality, of right and wrong and good and bad and, and, uh, of ego, actually. And, uh, so that's all. I just want to bring that to our attention that, that we do that. You say, gosh, I'm, I'm 30. Well, I'm not 30, but I'm 30. And what have I done? <laughs> you know, my gosh. You, you know, well, the great, and we compare ourselves to people of, of a similar age or, or even uh, younger in the idea of time. What have I done with my life, you know, and, and using a measure of time and, you know, and, and, and of course, a lot of that's based on the idea that uh, uh, accumulating things is important. You know, having stuff, having stuff. I have a fellow I work with sometimes who's so uh, about, you know, success is about stuff. What do you have in your home and he talks about another friend who has all kinds of stuff and he shows me pictures of his stuff and and uh, so we're judging ourselves on our you know in a timeline around stuff you know accomplishments what have you done what, and, and so we don't we judge others but we judge ourselves too so just be aware that that's all that time the idea of time can take us out of the moment it's 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 you know kind of a enticing isn't it? it 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 takes us out of the moment so not a really popular conversation i'm sure because it's not one that we think about often i mean who thinks about that but i'm i'm looking to create awareness around um around how we've been living in judgment of ourselves and others and that you know, and in complaint, you know, oh my gosh, the time we talk about, like 2020, 
There's going to be so much complaint about that year, all that year. Whatever. It's, 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 a, it's an illusion. It's a, just a thing we created. It's, it's not real. Okay? So, be free of judgment based around that and that's a part of a of an awakening you know my 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 context really is to uh, awaken myself in all areas you know to be uh, unattached to everything here you know whether it's relationship or whether it's stuff or whether it's um time the idea of time you know, oh my gosh, I have to get these things done by, you know, a certain time. So in, in some ways it's practical. I'm, I'm not saying it's not practical, but it, it it's it, it's also um, keeps us from being here now. Because we're thinking about, say, the future based on time. Okay, that's all I want to say about that, right? That's it. And, you know, in a way, I contribute to it, you know, I do. I say, oh, Happy New Year, you know, because, and we do, we all contribute to it. And, and we, we're living in a, you know, a collective illusion. <laughs> so, maybe that's not, not the place to kind of, to, you know, to expose it, but, you know, if we're in the matrix, in a way, and I don't want to, I'm not talking about any kind of a, of a conspiracy or anything. I just, you know, recognize that the mind has created such an amazing, complex um, theater stage, you know. And we're, you know, we're, we get stuck in it. Um, I was talking to a man last night who is really, 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 you know, it believes that he wants to stay sober and, and, uh, and um, you know, and, and they had five days in and, and, and he went out, he, you know, and, and uh, I know for a lot of people it's hard to understand, you know, well, why would he do that? Well, you know, um, and really we're so caught in, in the, you know, selfish, self-centered world that it's painful for the alcoholic and the addict. And he went out and then, you know, everything was about time for him last night. It was like, oh, I had five days and then I just blew it. And, and it doesn't matter. It's we start now. We start everything now. And, and uh, life begins now. And, you know, we can't, you know, be carried forward on our past accomplishments you know, we we can't also be carried down by our, you know, what we we consider failures. What if it's all not either accomplishment, you know, a win or success, or a failure in any way or bad or, you know, or it it just is, and it's only those other things because we judge it, we consider it, uh, you know based on our conditioning to be good or bad, based on other people's opinions sometimes to be good or bad or right or wrong. So, you know, it, I, I believe that in a way this is mat about maturing. We're growing up. <laughs> you know, we're, we're becoming free, right? I did a men's weekend years ago, and, and uh, the in the weekend, the... Uh, the purpose of the weekend was to, you know, uh, to be rid of the, of the um, blocks between us and, and true freedom, you know, and, and uh, uh, to, to see them and dissolve them, you know. It was an amazingly spiritual weekend. It didn't seem like that to a lot of men, you know. They thought it was more about, you know, um, rah, you know, some sort of an image of a man, and, and uh, but I saw it as this 
wow, this is such a, an amazing to you know become aware of and dissolve the blocks between us and being the man we always wanted to be. To know true freedom is only a man can. And, and they, they used man because it was a men's weekend. But it, 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 it really, you know, that's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. In, in these videos every day is to, to just give you something to ponder, you know, where are the blocks? Where are the blocks that keep you and me from true freedom? You know, who wants true freedom? And well, I'm, almost everybody will say they do. I, you know, they'll say, yes, I want true freedom. And, and, and then when we look at some of the concepts that we've attached to or we've, you know, that we have a, you know, a, a, we're fond of, <laughs> we're not going to let those go, right? Because some of them make us feel superior, right? Or some of the, them keep us in self-pity, keep us small. We don't want to be big. We, we want to be small, you know. So just, uh, just be aware. Be conscious. And let's, you know, my whole thing going forward from this moment is to support you in seeing where your beliefs, your collective concepts your, uh, have kept you from being free in the moment. So, freedom, baby. You know, that's the goal. And, and uh, I have a friend, Kathy, and we talk about we're jailbreakers. You know, what an honor to be a jailbreaker, to break you out, to support you in getting free, finding your way to this moment out of the illusion of the past, out of the illusion of the future, out of fear, out of guilt, out of shame, into the now where true freedom is. That's my goal. That's my purpose. So clear on that. Hmm. So let's talk about it. You know, anytime you, you want to come sit on my couch and uh, dig around a bit, maybe in the uncomfortableness because we're so attached to our stories. You know, I, I help lots of people with their stories and a lot of times their stories of trauma I had a guy yesterday yelling at me at the group in the treatment center that don't you know I've had trauma <laughs> whatever <laughs> yes I do and I, I have compassion for your trauma and, and I'm not going to run away I won't run away. Okay. Love you guys. And, uh, oh, we're going to read. This is day one, I guess, in the time scenario. Uh, the, uh, you know, because we do, the practical is that we do have this calendar. The practical is that we do have this calendar. And we're going to, you know, we, got the, we have the calendar. And the calendar says it's day one of a new year. And I'm reading from this 24-hour <coughs> day book based on time. <laughs> Here we are. It, uh, uh, it, and it talks a lot about, in this book, it talks a lot about the 12 steps. And, you know, and I, I, I just want to be clear again. I don't represent, I don't represent uh, AA or NA or, you know, I'm not a, I, I'm just a guy who has found the steps and the steps for me are a pathway to awakening. They're truly a pathway to an awakening. And, and, uh, um, and, uh, and they have so much depth that people can use a little or use a lot of it. They can go to whatever, you know, whatever piece they want by, you know, the more that we, that we become aware in the, in the steps. So the steps are, are kind, you know, they're, they're really simply simple and they're, they're, they're they have the, the depth to, to open you up to freedom in the moment. And, uh, 
his amazing promises. So we're going to just talk about this for a second. It says, when I came into the 12-step world, or into AA or NA or CA, was I a desperate person? Did I have a soul sickness? Was I so sick of myself and my way of living that I couldn't stand looking at myself in the mirror? <laughs> Many of us desperate, yes, desperation can be good. Was I ready for the 12 steps? Was I ready to try anything that would help me to get sober and to turn over my soul sickness? Should I ever forget the condition I was in? So, yes, yeah, soul sickness. I love that, you know. Um, there we were, coming into the 12-step world. Soul sickness. You know, so that's my, my deal is to share this. Meditation for the day. In the new year... I will live in the new year. So we're talking uh, January 1st here. I will live one day at a time. So we do break things up. We know the practical of, of time packages for the mind. The mind needs that, it seems to, in the beginning. But eventually, that will even fade. It's a, eventually, it, it won't be a need. It'll just be um, who we are. One moment to moment. Now to now to now. I will make each day one of preparation for better things ahead. Hmm. I will not dwell in the past or the future, only in the present. Good for him. Good for him. He wrote this in the, actually in the, in the 40s. And it got published in 54, I think. I will not dwell on the past or the future, only on the present. I will bury every fear of the future, all thoughts of unkindness and bitterness, all my dislikes, my resentments, my sense of failure, my disappointments in others and in myself, my gloom and my despondency. I will leave all these things buried and go forward in this new year into a new life. Yeah. Meditation for the day. Power f prayer for the day. I pray that God will guide me one day at a time in the new year. I pray that for each day God will supply the wisdom and the strength that I need. Of course. God is this moment. God is consciousness. God is not separate from you or from me. Imagine that. Imagine that. I talked to a man, I was, like I said, about two in the morning and he was really struggling. And, and you know, and, and his struggle, he said, was that he felt he was, uh, you know, terribly agnostic. <coughs> <clears throat> and uh, in the 12-step world, it starts us off really simply with the possibility of a belief in a power greater than us, without a label, without a concept, a power greater than us. And, and this man said, you know, he had trouble with it because, you know, his ideas around or his rejection of God. And... Uh, and he and I have done this before, but we did it again last night. And, and I just asked him simply, do you believe in love? And he, you know, there was a pause. And on the phone, I couldn't see him, but I knew that he knew that all of a sudden he was out of, he was out of the trap of, um, of this idea of being an agnostic. And he said, yes, of course, David, I believe in love. I said, well, is love a power greater than you? And he, he said, yes, it is. I said, so there we go. Let's begin there. Our power greater than ourselves that we turn our will and our lives over to is the power of love in this moment. Love is now. And uh, it was beautiful. He said, you know, he had a... a bit of, a, of an awakening in the moment and you know whether he was able to stay I don't know but um, beautiful so it was sweet mm. hi you guys welcome nice to see you okay so love love is the way love is the answer love is this moment love is now <laughs> Okay, so we're going to meditate for a couple of minutes, all right? If you'd like to, want to join me for a little meditation and uh, maybe just for 
Ah, I don't know. We'll see. Five minutes or so. And, and you know, what a beautiful way to bring in this year, this, you know, um, if we're going to use the, the concept of time and in a calendar year, let's, let's call it day one of the new year and, um, and begin with a short meditation. Okay. So just close your eyes and drop in. You can use the breath, use the breath to drop in, use the breath to come into the body. And with the breath, the breath is now, as close to now as, you know, we become one with the breath. We're not close to the breath, we are the breath. We don't get close to the now, we are the now. You are now, here now. I am here now. <coughs> In this now is what? In this now is emptiness. In this now is peace. In this now is sense of joy, a sense of stillness, and this now is joy, is stillness, is love, in this now, no time, no story, no story of you, no history, no I did it wrong, no I did it right, no good, no bad, no fear in this moment, no fear. Just feel your body relaxing, settling down. Mm -hmm. Notice that any tension that might have been in your body just sort of, just sort of oozes out, just leaves you to this space. In the now. If thoughts come, just watch them. Don't attach. Don't run off with them. And if you do run off with them, just come back to the now. Just come back to the now. Sometimes if I have a, a thought that really has me, I'll just say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A million thank yous. Thank you brings me back to the moment. Thank you brings me to now. No ideas. No next. No what ifs. Only emptiness in this moment. You can have your life back in a few minutes, the life that you know, your time-based life, your judgment-based life, if that's where you want to be, you can have it back. Just be here now, in this silence, in this isness, in the I am, I am now. Just join us, just join us, close your eyes, be here now. <coughs> <coughs> from a sneeze is in the now. Hmm. Here we are. We are one.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Mm. So, again, um, if you, if you, if you feel led to, to go deeper down the rabbit hole, to um, see, you know, the blocks that that seem to be there with the mind to awakening. Um, I have a, a few authors that I suggest, some awakened ones that have left great words. Um, but no, to go right to you know, a long way back, many of the teachings of Jesus, you can find the actual teachings, teachings, and not necessarily the, the uh, religion, but the teachings, um, and Buddha as well, and, uh, but more currently, um, Ram Das on YouTube, uh, Alan Watts on YouTube, uh, Muji on YouTube, just endless, and uh, yeah, so you can drop in, uh, Eckhart Tolle, of course, who I speak of often, uh, Dr. David Hawkins, yeah, you know, and, and they have books, but they're on YouTube too, and, and I have many of their books on Audible, and listen to them, and you know, um, I think if we're in the company of high vibration teachers, we, we're lifted up. So be in that company. Yes. Be in that company. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's been coming up for me, I'm not sure, you know, as um, I, th I have merchandise from, from my time with the, uh, the store Valor and Beyond. So um, I'm going to put a link here for the merchandise. Yeah, I'll put a link uh, to valorandbeyond.ca. Um, and it would be great if you, uh, if you have a look at the website and get a meditation chair or, you know, or singing bowl or some of those things that, that I have it would be helpful. Um, because although, you know, this is all free content and I, I love to, to do this, this is for me, this is as much as it is for you. Um, um, there is the practical of, of, uh, of paying the bills. Okay. Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you.